picture show the world's first video conferencing system. Notice it was created in 1927. You could be making video calls in 1927. You get a three by two inch black and white display, and the delay was one millisecond from Washington DC to New York City. What was interesting is every system that was created after 1927, the first system, the delay was actually longer because of Kodak and so on. But this was the fastest delay. But what was interesting, notice the picture below that. In 1924, we had the world's first mobile phone. Of course, it take an entire car filled with electronics, but you could be making a call on the road. As a graduate student, I was intrigued by this. Here's two technology. Three you years could make a different. call on the road in that car? You could, <laughs> except you need a, a, another driver because you had to go up behind. <laughs> but you could be making a call on the road. <laughs> you can make a call on the road if you have the other driver right behind you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> With a wire? <laughs> no, no, wireless. <laughs> okay. I think we also tend to underestimate innovators. And Steve Jobs is exhibit A here. The ability to take all these technical building blocks, recombine them in a way that will satisfy a need, and in the case of Apple and Jobs, will absolutely delight a very, very large body of consumers. We should keep in mind that the last time we saw spontaneous outpourings of grief at the death of a business person was maybe never, maybe Thomas Edison. But after Jobs passed away, around the world in front of Apple stores, people started leaving flowers and candles and sticky notes and tributes to him because he was the guy that took building blocks that had already been in place. Everything he did, was, had been around for a while, he recombined them in a way that made technology human, that delighted us, and that put us in better touch with not only pieces of gear, but with each other using those pieces of gear. It's really hard to underestimate the power of that kind of recombinant innovation.